lavender and rosemary essential oils. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time again and that is because I was waiting for my new camera which I got for Christmas. I'm just sort of testing it out today with a December favorites. Today's the 27th so it's not January yet but the day after New Year's I'm getting my wisdom teeth out and I'm so scared. So I am doing this now because I have no idea how long I'll be out with my wisdom teeth surgery and I wanted to just go ahead and get this over with so that I could test out my new camera. So so starting with beauty, I have two makeup items to show you and the first one is this Tardist, Tartiste Pro Glow and it is a contour kit and I got it about a month ago at Ulta because they were having some sort of deal. I don't remember how much this is, but I got it like half off. So I will link that down below, but I am sort of a newbie to contour. I have no idea what I'm doing. And this came with a lot of different things. So these two bottom colors are cream, and these, I guess they're contour colors, bronzer maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Their powder and the top two are highlights, so I thought this was a good range of things to experiment with. The next makeup item is by Rimmel, and is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. And so usually I use like a pen to do my eyeliner, but this was the first sort of liquid liner. I don't know if it's considered liquid liner, but it's black, and the the brush part is really small so there's less room for error and like spreading out so I found this it was difficult for me to use at first because I'm not very talented when it comes to eyeliner but I think this is easy to use and it doesn't really fade so continuing with beauty I have recently decided to start looking into different brands that test on animals and trying to remove all the things in my house that do test on animals um, is very difficult and very eye-opening to find out that so many brands do test on animals so one brand that I was excited to find out does not test on animals is the OGX company and I started a long time ago using their coconut water shampoo and conditioner and I found this at Walgreens and it is orchard orchid 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 oil shampoo and conditioner. They do not test on animals. This is not unreasonably expensive and if you're the only person using it this could last you a really long time because a little bit really goes a long way and it smells so good. And it's the type of shampoo that <laughs> just moved my mouth. It's the type of shampoo that lasts in your hair so you wash your hair you go to sleep in the morning and it still smells good and that's the kind of shampoo I like so these definitely a favorite i'm definitely gonna be using this brand i may switch through different scents but i really like this scent so now moving along into body wash it's sort of difficult to find a body wash at drugstores that doesn't test on animals which is pretty upsetting um there's a few but they're kind of on the pricier side so what i did is i went to marshall's and tj maxx and they have some really good body wash and so this one that I have been using is by Dickens and Hawthorne and I got this at TJ Maxx for $4.99 and this is a good amount for $4.99 especially considering that Bath and Body Works is like $13.50 for something smaller than this and this is a charcoal and peppermint scent and so it is black but it smells so good and it's one of those minty body washes that makes your skin tingle and I love that it makes me feel super clean so I guess this is also sort of in the beauty category um I have an essential oil diffuser and um I found two oils that I really really like and I've been using most of December I use it during the day when I go to bed through the night actually and these two have become my favorite scents so this is lavender and it is by Eden's Garden and I, this is actually my third bottle of lavender, so that just goes to show you how much I love lavender. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, it smells so good. So lavender essential oil. And this is a new one that I actually haven't tried out until a couple days ago, but it quickly became one of my favorites. It is rosemary, and this is by Art Naturals. And it smells so good. And it kind of smells like, because rosemary to me is something that you usually put on chicken. So I have found that whenever I'm burning this, it actually makes me hungry a little bit, which could be a dangerous thing. But it smells so good that I just, I don't care. So, lavender and rosemary essential oils. So that's really all I had for beauty. Moving on to food. So recently, like really recently, like in the past two weeks, I have decided to start eating vegan, which cutting out meat wasn't that hard for me because I'm not a big fan of meat, but cutting out things like cheese and processed food and honey and milk has been really hard so any suggestions you have for snacks or meals that are easy and quick that would be great because I'm so lazy when it comes to cooking but that's beside the point so one essential that I have found to be such a lifesaver for snacks and smoothies in the morning is almond butter so I had never had almond butter before until like two weeks ago and I don't like peanuts so peanut butter has always been a difficult thing for me because I just think it's disgusting but almond butter is so good it's almost like you're eating a dessert out of a jar and it goes so well in smoothies on crackers with bananas anything and it's so good and it is a little bit expensive but I definitely think it's worth it so and also in food category um, is different flavored dark chocolate so when you're trying to be vegan that cuts out a lot of desserts especially if you don't have time to make your own desserts so I have found that different flavored dark chocolate is so good and fun to try it's like a fun game so this one is Bay Coop Berries by the brand Dagoba I don't know, but it is so good, and I just have a couple squares of it with coffee or in the morning or at night or whenever I want to, and it's so good. Um, another one that I have is this dark chocolate with cacao nibs, and it's vegan, organic, the good stuff. I haven't actually tried this one yet. Maybe I will right now. Let's see what it tastes like. It smells good. There's a piece that actually fell off, so. Mmm. I don't really know what cacao nibs are. I know they're good for you, but I don't know the difference between that and, like, cocoa powder, whatever. I don't know what the difference is. It doesn't taste like anything besides just plain dark chocolate to me, which is fine. Mmm. Also, these are like endangered species chocolates. So, 10% promise they donate money to nonprofit partners, preserve wildlife, and this one saves bats. Now, this one is by Choco Love, and it is ginger crystallized and dark chocolate. It's so good. It's not too like spicy like you would think. You can barely even taste the ginger, but it's so good and makes you feel like you're eating more than just plain dark chocolate so love it next in food so i'm also trying to slowly cut out coffee because i just don't want too much caffeine and i don't want to rely on caffeine in the morning so i have switched to tea which i'm a tea drinker anyway so it's not that hard and i know that this has caffeine in it too but it's not as extreme as coffee and it's more natural for your body. So I, the brand Bigelow, to me, does the best tea. So I have their spiced chai tea, which is a black tea. And I have that in the morning with just a little bit of almond milk and agave syrup. So good. And this pretty much just tastes like Christmas in a cup. And I love it so much. I think this would actually be good cold too if you made it in the morning and then put it in the fridge with some ice cubes and drank it later. 
I think that would be really good. And the other one that I'm loving by Bigelow is the Earl Grey. Earl Grey is my favorite tea, and I found it in decaf. So this is what I have at night, and it's so good. Love it. So definitely try these out if you're a tea drinker. If you're looking for more teas, this is my favorite brand, and they have so many flavors. They also have like a vanilla spice chai, which I think would be really good. So that's it for food. Moving on to entertainment. So I'll start with movies and I'm a Disney fanatic. Like that's what I asked for for Christmas was Disney movies. I collect them. And so I have been really loving just having a Disney movie playing in the background, whatever I'm doing. And I've been really loving the more recent ones with a little bit more updated humor. So the three that I have really been loving is Ratatouille because that's just one of my favorite Disney movies in the world. And I've watched it like three times already and I just got it for Christmas. So also finding Dory because I love Dory and I love her humor. I think it's such a cute movie so I love to have this playing when I'm cleaning my room or doing laundry or doing homework, whatever. I like to have this playing. Also, Big Hero 6. Now, this movie is genius. I think it is so cute, has such a good message, and it's so different from anything that Disney has ever really done. So, I love this movie. So, I would like to give you guys a favorite show, but I don't have, I haven't been watching any shows over the break. So, if you have any suggestions of Netflix shows that I should be watching, Please let me know down in the comments because I want to watch a show so bad, but everything I start, I'm just like, mm. like, my taste is, I love Friends. I watched Friends all the way through, loved it. I loved Pretty Little Liars. If you've seen Raising Hope, I love Raising Hope. And Heart of Dixie, I love that. So that's the kind of stuff I like, like happy, feel good. Pretty Little Liars isn't exactly happy, feel good, but I love that kind of stuff. So any suggestions for shows on Netflix, please let me know below because I would love to find a new show to start watching, especially since I'm about to have my wisdom teeth out. I'm going to need something to be watching. So anyways, this is a book that I got for Christmas, Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr, and it is a poetry book and I have been wanting it for so long. I can't exactly say it's a favorite because I haven't read it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a favorite because I've just heard such great things about it and it's, I'm just so excited to read it. So if you have read it, let me know what you think. It's a number one New York Times bestseller, so it's got to be good. So that is everything that I have for you today. I hope that the camera quality is better from what I have been doing, which was just on my iPhone. I have a tripod now, so hopefully we can sort of get the ball rolling with my YouTube channel. I need some lights, definitely, because right now I'm using natural light and the sun's going down. So I can see how that would be an issue. Um, also, I don't have the best Wi-Fi here, so every time that I want to upload a video, I have to go to like Starbucks or McDonald's or something, which is sort of a pain. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below Netflix shows that I should be watching. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.